Welcome to the Talk, Top Talkers. My panel today, Candace Drover from Magic 100. She's on 9 to noon. Don't miss her. Uh, Melanie Adams from 93.9 Bob FM on the morning show. And Stuntman Stu from the Magic Morning Show as well. Competitors. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. So, uh, We're all a team here. It's yeah. A family show. So the thing, thing everybody's talking about, I think, is the Capitol Hoedown. There is a big appetite for live music in Ottawa. We love it. We like these big names coming to the city. But there was a big screw up last year. Let's be honest. That's what happened. Uh, they messed it up. The organization, I don't, you know, allegedly in different spots. But in the end, it had to be canceled. People uh, tried to get their money back, and there were some big issues. Now, uh, Taylor Swift is actually being sued by a Texas-based ticket company, which is also being sued by someone else. They're saying she should uh, be giving back a large portion of her $2 million fee. What do you think, Kenneth? Does she even know that she got paid for this? Right, because right. she's obviously, when you're big and famous like Taylor Swift, you have people who look after this. Yeah. So she's probably just seeing her name in the headlines going, what? I don't know anything about this. If they paid her up front, then they paid her the money. I think it's their loss. Does she owe? Uh, you know, it's two and a half million dollars, which, I mean, if she needs the money that bad, I guess. <laughs> Keep it. Uh, believe me, no matter how rich you are, if I give you two and a half million dollars, yeah. you're not going to want to give it back. I mean, maybe she could spend some of that money on surgery that allows her to open her eyes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, well, that's a whole Taylor. other episode of Talk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have no problem with her taking the money because she had to give up a date right. that Ottawa messed up on. Mm -hmm. At some point, there was, a, there was a screw up, as you mentioned, and it was a PR disaster. And now there's somebody from Ottawa suing Justin Bieber for the last time he was in town because they got pelted, a security guard got pelted in the head with a Nerf gun yeah. uh, pellet. Now Taylor Swift's uh, getting sued. Come to Ottawa. Yeah, I was We're going to sue you. <laughs> is, this a, is this bad for yes, the city it's bad. overall? Because what people see is Ottawa. Mm -hmm. they, I don't know that they necessarily think one promoting, promoter, promotion company, ticket company. Does this actually discourage other artists? Because, you know, there's talk that artists talk to each other, at least their management does. Well, there were other artists that backed out of this event as well yes. before it even started. So it's not like Taylor Swift is the only one that didn't show up to this right. event. But even if she paid out the, what is it, $1.8 million, she'd still pocket $700,000 mm -hmm. is what the difference is. But she doesn't need and, the money. I mean, bad things happen in every city when it comes to shows. And, and anytime anyone complains about one of those, I would just point and go, Blues Fest. Because yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't argue that that's awesome. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we do... There was a number of years ago we started seeing big acts come, Bruce mm -hmm. Springsteen, Bon Jovi, acts like this, because the city got a good reputation for being a nice stop in between two majors, Toronto and Montreal, right. and it, you could grab a bunch of cash, to be honest, that's what it's about. That's where artists make m most of their money now in live appearances. So are you worried about Ottawa's overall no. reputation? No, because Ottawa, as you, as you pointed out, has Blues Fest and has done so well, and Blues Fest has put the city on the map in the summer. It's a destination point, and we've also supported massive concerts like Bruce Springsteen and Prince and Lady Gaga and Madonna. I mean, big acts will come here. Why Pink has not shown up hmm. in Ottawa? That's a good question. Totally bugs me. She's playing Montreal, she's playing Toronto, but oh. she's not playing Ottawa. Oh, Stewie. Oh, he's pretty upset about it. Um, now, the organizer, Mr. Benoit, wants to says he's committed to a ho capital hoedown in 2013. Is that a good idea? Should he back off or should he go full bore? I don't. <laughs> how do you? Uh, yeah. How do you recover from something like this with all the millions of dollars that were lost from this event? Mm. It was a public relations disaster last year. Right. I mean, when you're saying one thing in the media and then doing another, and people are trying to get a hold of you for a comment. You've got to be upfront with people, yeah. especially in the day and age that we live in. You, ha you, can't, you can't hide from people. And they held off and held off and held off. You're right about that, Stu. We didn't get the full details until like crunch time, until he absolutely had to say, Shh, it's done. You know, and everybody felt it for weeks, I feel like. But is Ottawa, is Ottawa exhausted by that point? Like when Capital Hoedown is taking place in August, is the city just, okay, enough. We've just gone through Blues Fest. Hmm. We do have major concerts coming in through Scotiabank Place. Do we get to a point where we're like, you know what? I, I don't have any more money to buy concert tickets. Ticket sales might uh, disagree with you there. You know, like, ticket sales were pretty strong for that. They had some huge well, acts. for Taylor Swift, sure they're going to be strong. And Sheryl Crow was on the bill for a time before she backed out and others as well. Mm -hmm. uh, does it have a chance of success if his name isn't attached to it? As a news professional, I have no opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, the name is tarnished. Do you think that's the case? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think he has a lot to do with winning people back. I mean, if you're one of those people that bought tickets 
and you were stuck waiting and waiting, that leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Mm. It's no different than shopping for a car and you had a bad experience at a local dealership or you had a bad night out at dinner. Once you get that bad taste, it's very hard to win people back. He's still dealing with personal issues, lawsuits, uh, a, a big lawsuits from OLG that bought a bunch of VIP and general admission tickets, never got their money back, they allege, uh, and, a, and a limo company suing him as well. So he's got some, some business issues to take care of before doubling down on the hoedown. Maybe take a year off doubling down on the hoedown. I'm such a dork. But yeah, yeah maybe take a year off. <laughs> I worked with her. She can call me a dork. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a year off, you think? Just yeah, let it just kind least. of turtle. And, and we'll and clean up all the mess that's still left behind. Okay. And then maybe in another year or so, that'll be cleaned up and everyone will have forgotten what a it was this time around, and maybe it'll work. Is that an actual term? Uh, yeah, it's I think it is. E H U U U U H. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Nice, I like that. Mm -hmm. That's good. So the moral of the story here, and really what we take away from this, is Pink needs to come to Ottawa. Right? <laughs> yes. yeah. Pink and Michael Bublé. Michael Bublé has to come back to Ottawa. There you have it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate my panel for uh, Top Talkers this morning.